Hello, I'm Frank Jens. I'm the acting chair of Cavanuma Alliance UK here at Butlins, and um, I happen to have Cavanuma myself. That's a cavernous angioma, it's a sort of thing in the brain about here. So we're here this weekend sharing about that. My cavernoma was diagnosed four years ago. Uh, I had a major seizure. I don't remember anything about it. My memory went. I, I, I just came round in hospital and I found out about it since. And then a few months later, four years ago, just turned, I had another major seizure in London. Again, came round in hospital, wondering what all the fuss was about, didn't know what had happened. So that's been my experience. I've been very lucky. Even though I've had the two seizures, I've not had any medication at all. And that's been very fortunate. Most people with my condition have more serious symptoms. Uh, depending on where in your brain it is, it affects the outcome. Brainstem cavernos can cause major complications. Mine has to be in the front left lobe of my brain towards the back. Luckily, it just misses what's called Broca's area, which affects speech. Otherwise, I wouldn't be talking to you now. A millimetre can make a huge amount of a difference with a cavernoma. In my case, the symptoms are fairly than mine. And uh, that's the same with the epilepsy. Mine has been very minor. Many people can have several seizures a day. So the people here at Butlins this weekend have a, lots of different variations. Uh, some have no symptoms at all. There are people here who have a cavernoma with no symptoms. But in their case, their children do have symptoms. There are versions of this condition which run in families. Mine's not. Mine's a one-off situation. I won't pass it on to my children either. This all depends on where the brain is and how it was formed. But the symptoms tend to be the same. Often it's things like double vision, uh, slurred speech, um, it, it's actually, in other words, walking with a bit of a stagger. Symptoms like that are the problems which cause people difficulties in their everyday life, as well as the seizures which can occur. It varies a lot.